obviously just really, really proud uh, of my team and, and, uh, and how they competed and, and fought tonight. It was, uh, you know, we knew that, that Bowling Green was, was playing for exactly what we were playing for and it was going to be uh, an absolute war out there and uh, it lived up to that. Uh, everything was difficult uh, at both ends of the floor. You know, we. Uh, you know, I'm happy for for Will Regan first, just the, the way he played in his in his last game at Alumni and uh, making big shots for us and, and and playing gritty down in the post and uh, you know so it was, it was it was exciting to watch that and uh, you know really it wasn't our best game but you know we found a way and uh, you know we, we we didn't shoot well we didn't shoot free throws well like we have all year but uh, we were able to overcome that. How fortunate. Were you that the uh, timeout that it looked like Justin was trying to call there with uh, less than two seconds left wasn't granted and it ended up being a jump ball because that would have been a technical, correct? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd have to look at it again and see it um, because I, it, it appeared to me like the Bowling Green player was, was on Justin as well, so I mean, I'd have to watch it to, to make that determination. What, what did you think the key was? Uh, 21 lead changes, uh, and there were, you know, there were times where it looked like it might get away from you, even in the first half, you know, down 14. What, what do you attribute that resilience? And yeah, I mean, I, I, mean I, I could say that they're a team that gets coached very hard, and um, I, I knew that last year's Bowling Green team, you know, with, with Parker and, and Holmes and, and Clark and, and Henderson and those type of guys are, uh, are veteran players that, you know, have been through the wars at a MAC and, you know they've had a great season, and you know it's uh, it's not surprising that they were they were out there making plays, and uh, you know even even the kid you know Gomez to come in and and you know provide the type of offense he provided when when Holmes wasn't in the game, he uh, they didn't really lose a ton uh, outside of you know the defense that, that Holmes uh, you know has in, 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 in the paint. Be surprised that you get an automatic you end up with an automatic bid to the semis. You know I don't, I don't know a couple of weeks ago. You, and sitting there already now, you said you can answer it if you want. I mean, a couple weeks ago, you're you're not even thinking about this. Well, you know, it was. I, I remember things weeks ago, and I remember sitting here with, with Shannon and and Shannon telling everyone that at the end we're going to have something to say about it. And uh, we were six and six at the time, and just lost to Central in, in a really heartbreaking way. And uh, you know, he he backed up his uh, his prediction because uh, you know we closed the season as good as you can close it. Uh, and it was a great crowd with great energy that, that helped us through it. But uh, I'm proud of them. And I, I wouldn't have thought, you know, a couple of weeks ago, being 500 in the league, that we would finish the way we are. Will, if this was your last game at home, it's got to be a pretty special, memorable night for you, huh? Yeah, um, it's, it's, uh, it was obviously exciting for me. I mean, I was struggling to hit my shot all year and uh, to finally get it to go. But, I mean, the biggest thing about this game is it just showed how much our team had each other's back. I mean, we had adversity. You could probably like draw up like 30 ways in which we had to, you know, over things we had to overcome, and we did. And um, I'm just proud of my team to, to do that. Sure. Well, how good did it feel to, to be able to hit that three? You know, you, there was a turnover, and they had gone ahead. And I know that probably you were probably kicking yourself over that, but then to come back and hit that three down, you know, on the next trip. Yeah, that 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 was a relief. I mean, I knew that I'd have my opportunity. Um, Especially all year, I've been telling myself, and then it came in the last game. But um, I, w I was kicking myself like right when that happened. I got to be stronger with the ball, and um, you know, Shannon tried to do his best to make them miss that. And they, they made it, so we had to come down and make a play. And it's no different than when Monte made the play and go to the next possession. Well, how cool is it when you see the the atmosphere now? When you came in here, it wasn't this. I mean, it, it, there were high school crowds at times for your games, and tonight this place was packed. It was loud. It was. It was yeah. electric. I mean, it's in a testament to the whole entire uh, athletic department, um, starting with you know Danny and, and just you know changing the sort of uh, vibe about about the program, um, and then with Coach Hurley and and uh, and then straight down to my teammates. I mean, they, they put on a show out there every night, um, and uh, just sort of generates the buzz locally. And, and uh, it, it's it's exciting for me because when I transferred back from Buffalo or from Virginia, um, I have a goal to, to sort of try and take this program to the next level. And um, we're not there yet, but uh, you know, it's, it's an exciting time. Okay. So Along those lines, Bobby, what's it mean to um, in front of this crowd, have this kind of game and get this get this win? Yeah, I mean it's it's a lot different than our than our Kent State crowd that was also our you know really 
you know, they would be in co competition for the best crowd we've had all year. And, and we, w we got the crowd really excited by how we played and, and the margin of victory. But this one was a whole different game, and it was a lot of, you know, a lot of ups and downs throughout the game. And, and the crowd, you know, down the stretch, you know, I think, uh, you know, provided some help with us to, to get us over the top. And it's, it, it, you know, every little bit helps. And this is what, you know, a real big time, you know, college environment should look like in terms of the crowd. And, uh, just got a sad. I didn't even mention in my opening remarks Lamonte Beard and Wow for uh, a freshman. You know with the future that's ahead of this kid uh, to make the the two big plays that he made and that big shot in the lane. You know that, that we needed. It's uh, you know that's, that kid's got some some game and some talent and look forward to having him for a long time. Did he improvise that play? It seemed like you know you had a lot more options before he, he made that move. We, we got away from running a, a lot of set plays and we and we just allowed you know our guards whether it was Shannon or Monte to play with a high ball screen because will you know will didn't miss a shot in practice yesterday he, he, had, he had his best, best practice of the season yesterday so I had a feeling like you know he was going to hit some threes today and, and we surrounded Monte with with you know Jaron and Shannon and will that could all shoot and then Justin was going to you know dive to the to the rim so just put some pressure on, on defenses to make decisions on who they're going to go to. Uh, well, you had that run, a run at the end of the second half, and Will, it seemed like um, I think you hit three threes your own. I, on the second one, I was thinking, he knows he's not going to miss this. I mean, you just seem to be in the zone there. Uh, was that encouraging you to fire the ball? Yeah, um, when sometimes when you release the ball, you just know that, that it's um, perfect form and it's going to go. Um, and, and uh, you know, at that point, I, I think I made one before that, so that the three you were talking about, I think, was just right after another one, and I just knew. Shannon, you seem to have really been in, uh, at, toward the end of the first half there. I mean, that was as loud as that place, I think, got when you guys went on that run to, to get back into it, and you had a, a transition opportunity, you stopped, you pulled up, and you hit one. How, how much were you feeding off the crowd at that moment? Oh, yeah, my whole game was off the crowd. You know, I played with a lot of energy, and I heard the crowd roaring after I hit my, my second one. So the one transition, I had that in my head. I was going to shoot the uh, the next one. I'd let it fly. Shannon, you know what were you thinking when you shot that from the E in New York? I mean, that was. Well, I, I didn't even realize. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't pull it up. You know? Coach, what were you thinking? You didn't realize you were on Niagara Falls Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I give the guys freedom. You know, I, I trust them that they'll make plays and they come through for me. So I'm not going to change anything. Uh, I was more. Like Shannon and I have these little exchanges. We had that first play out of the first, out of start the second half, and I didn't even see the lob he threw to Justin, and you know, and it was not really supposed to go to him, <laughs> but he he found a way to get it to him. It was, it was an amazing pass, and we kind of look at each other, you know, one point guard to another. Shannon, how do you guys flip the switch like that? When you're down 14, you're not hitting the shots you normally have hit. How do you guys do that in order to make what was a 14 point deficit into a tie game? And Three minutes. All right. Um, it only takes one shot, you know. Somebody break the seal. I think Will broke the seal, hit a three, and I came out hit a three. So it's, it's contagious, you know. Somebody make a shot, we feed off that, get another stop, another shot. The crowd get loud, so it just the environment is great. Coach, it seems like you feed off that too, because you were pretty excited at halftime. You know, what's it like seeing a run like that? <laughs> Well, I mean, it's it, we needed it, and, and it wasn't looking good because it, you know when you get down to a team that defends the way they defend, it's it's hard to climb back in the game, and uh, and you know again it was Will hitting hitting the big threes and and Shannon and uh, and just getting stops at the other end. It, I, I told the guys in, in the huddle like let's try and get in down six here, you know that was our goal, you know to cut an eleven or twelve point lead to to six so we have a chance to. To, to get it going in the second half, but they uh, they went way past that. Uh, Coach Justin was in foul trouble early in the game. What did you do uh, later when he was on the bench to reproduce his production? I mean, Justin, he's got to learn from this, and, and he's you know done so much for us, and been so valuable to us, so you know such a big part of what we do. But he's got a tendency to put himself in bad situations and commit fouls you know 30 feet from the basket that that make no sense. So he's got to do a better job of. You know, we need him on the floor, not not over with me. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk to him about that. And uh, you know, but he's uh, he still put up really really solid numbers. We went to him, you know, at a number of occasions down the stretch. In one case, it was about 70 feet from the basket when he already had three on. The fourth one was as bad as yeah. he's taken all year. Yeah. I got on about that. Is he also? <laughs> I'm sure you did. I'm sure somebody did. 
does he also need to be aware that your Raheem's also in trouble here? So you can't have both at the same time getting in. You know, you're not deep enough to get away with that. Yeah, and, and particularly with with Holmes being out of the game, and you know, we, we noticed you know he was in to start the second half and it looked like he asked out with, with, with a headache and and we didn't see him again. So when you, when you know that a guy that has the impact that he has defensively is now out of the game, you know, we want to try and take advantage of, of Justin down low and. and when, he, when he's in foul trouble or with four fouls with 13 or 14 minutes left, we can't we can't do that when we need to. Well, you've been in the league for a long time, and you know, in 21 minutes, Justin puts up his average. I mean, is he as close to a solid player of the year candidate as not as a non-senior? Because that award seems to go to a senior a lot. Is he as close to that as you can remember? Absolutely. I mean, he's just as effective <laughs> as Javon was, and he won the award. And Justin Moss was a player of the year. Hey, thanks so much, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it.